So what about people who don't believe in Jesus, but are still extremely religious and they subscribe to Allah or uh, the Buddhist or whatever, whatever the, the, the deity is that they worship and believe in? And even just based on what you guys have told me today, if, 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 if that person doesn't believe in Jesus Christ, I said to this person, are they going to hell? Are they, are they doomed for the rest of eternity? The only reason people go to hell is because they choose to live their life separate from God. And Jesus? Like Sorry. Yeah. In this from context, Jesus, from you... God. Yep. Correct. So if I choose to reject Christ and live my life separate from Him, I'm choosing to live my life separate from God, and I will, based on my decision, will spend eternity separate from Him. So you believe that anyone who doesn't accept Jesus Christ is going to hell? Anybody who hears about Christ and has the opportunity to investigate Christ by reading the Gospels and chooses to reject Christ, Jesus clearly said. For God so loved the world, he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already because he's not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. That's what Jesus said. It just isolates such a large portion of the population. Good, good point. Jesus doesn't give his followers an option when it comes to loving people. If I'm a follower of Christ, I don't have an option to hate. I have to love. I have to accept. I have to be tolerant. In fact, if I'm going to follow a man who, as he's bleeding and dying on a cross, prays for his enemies, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. That's the essence of tolerance. So intolerance, bigotry, hatred is not an option for a genuine follower of Christ.